Let's bring in House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. Uh, Leader McCarthy, uh, I thought that you guys were going to take the Senate bill and just to basically make some minor changes and, and just stamp it. But is Nancy Pelosi going to start from scratch? No, she's not. She's playing political games, and she never should have said that. There is nobody in the House here but Nancy and I, myself. She cannot craft another bill. Time is of the essence. People will lose their job today because of what a Schumer and the others are portraying and doing. We are closer than we had been. I was in the meeting yesterday with the four leaders. This is a different process. You know what Mitch McConnell did? He did from the bottom up. He had Democrats and Republican senators together actually working out the bill. It was the leaders who came in and stopped this process. And what, what Senator Schumer is complaining about is resources provided to companies to keep employees hired. To me, this is the lowest level. Look at the difference of what we just saw a couple weeks ago in the House. When, when we didn't get to work with Nancy Pelosi, our own members, and craft a bill, but when we finally got the bill, we were able to make the changes to it. Even the language was not correct late into the night, but I moved the bill forward because I wanted America to see us working together, to give us hope that we can do this. And on a handshake, we said we would fix that bill on Monday, the technical changes. What the senators did last night, it wasn't even voting on the bill. They had 30 more hours. They were simply moving the process forward to give this country hope to show that they can work together. This is uncalled for. This is going to do damage to us, and it is unacceptable. The country does not want us to be partisan. They want us to be productive. And that is what we did in the minority over on this side, and that is what we expect to happen over there. But they had more input than any other time. I wish we had that type of input when we would craft a bill. Well, I tell you what, uh, Leader McCarthy, I don't know if your ears were burning just about a half an hour ago, but Newt Gingrich, who uh, once upon a time was Speaker, he uh, mentioned you and talked a little bit about what's going on right now to the Republicans via the Democrats. Listen to this. What you have now is a power struggle where Pelosi and Schumer believe they can blackmail the president into accepting really dumb ideas. Again, I think there are some things you negotiate, there are some things you can work out. But I personally do not want to see uh, a, a Trump, uh, McConnell, uh, McCarthy team that are blackmailed by Pelosi and Schumer and give in. I think the American people need to understand we can get something done immediately this week. The House has to come back to do it. But they ought to put a lot of pressure on Pelosi and Schumer uh, to put America ahead of partisanship. So, Leader McCarthy, is that what's going on? Are they blackmailing your side? That's exactly what they're trying to ask for. If you sat in that room yesterday with these four leaders, the things that they were asking for, they, they want to talk about election law. They want to talk about money that was going to places. Think for one moment what we were able to do before. We've sent more money to the state. We, we increased the funding level there that we found time to work together. This is actually to protect the jobs, to provide more resources for what we need um, in dealing with this situation. Time is of the essence. But what's so critical here is the actual senators, Democrats and Republicans, got together and crafted the bill. It is the leadership that has come in because they're unhappy that they couldn't craft it themselves. This is the way our founders believed we should have written the bill. And for them to hold up any process of moving forward is not even voting on the bill. It's giving the 30 hours of debate to start moving. Chuck Schumer should allow the American public to be able to move forward, and this is unacceptable. Nancy Pelosi says the House will introduce its own, its own bill. Listen to what she said. Speaker, you say you're so far apart. Should people be concerned this will pass by Monday? It's still told people on Monday, but we're still told people. It's on the Senate side now because that's their deadline for a vote. But uh, we'll be introducing our own bill, and hopefully it'll be compatible with what they discuss on the Senate. So no deal that's bipartisan at this point? Already. Th th that is exactly what Newt Gingrich was talking about. She has no bill. She has no people. She has no members. That was a political ploy to try to give cover to Schumer to get his Democrats to vote no. This is a moment in time that those Democrat senators should not sit right. back and take the direction of leadership. Put the American well, Kevin, public first. Yes. 
But Kevin, here, here's what they say specifically. You're doing a lot of great things. Number one, giving money to small business and saying, if you use this money to keep your employees paid, you can take this as a grant. If you fire your employees, it is a loan. And then you said for two years, I don't want these corporations buying their stock back. The Democrats said, I want it longer than two years. So, and they also want more money to hospitals and more money to states. I mean, is there something, is there a gray area you guys can to dive into there? What is the main objection from what I just said? Well, listen, we have the resource. The biggest challenge you have for small business is liquidity. Why? Because we asked as a government that you had to shut down to help our health. We should allow those people to help them during this bridge gap. And most importantly, we want people to continue working. We, we increase unemployment insurance here if someone is getting laid off. But what we're really doing is helping the small business stay afloat, pay their employees and pay their rent. We're doing the same thing on every business as we go forward. That is what you need. You want people to stay working. And I know. for the Democrats to hold this up, we're providing more money to the states. We're providing more money to health care. We're moving the things that we need to get done, but they're holding it up while they could still negotiate for the next 30 hours. There are very few things that divide them on this because Democrats and Republicans wrote this bill together. What is holding them up is the attitude of leadership that somehow they are not getting credit for it? This is a moment in time that you should step back and put the American public first before you want your own little title on it. Uh, Leader McCarthy, let me ask you about this. Over on the Senate side, five Republicans are out because they are in self-quarantine and Rand Paul tested positively. Going forward, is the House thinking about how to remotely vote or how will government run if, uh, if people are sick? Look, we will figure that out. We have a, a different options talking to the speaker about that, ways that we can get this vote forward. But that even points to a bigger problem right here. Why would the Democrats hold it up in a moment of time that more people are getting sick? The continuity of government you want to keep together, and we will. But what's more importantly, the, um, the millions of Americans out there that need our help today. Put Put your own ambitions aside and put America first. Let's solve this problem. Let's move the system forward and allow the debate to continue. To sit back and say no or put this belief that the House is going to start crafting, that would be too late and too little. And we would look back in history at this moment in time and look at the damage that was created just because of a personality of an individual wanted some hot type of credit or to leverage something a little further. This is not a time for partisanship. Mm. This is a time for us to be productive. Just as we showed the Republicans inside this House that we voted on a bill that did not have the language that we agreed to because we put this country first, because we did it on a handshake, that we would solve it later, and it was. That is not happening in the Senate while they had more input than we've ever seen before. All right, Leader McCarthy, thank you so much for being with us. Stay strong.